Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 12 recap. It is the live eviction show. Finally, yes. And Julie, she finally dressed it up. Thank you, Julie. I would much rather see her in alien freak wear <laughs> than her conservative cash. Thing. Yes. The like other it. is not very attractive. Sorry. No, so I'm happy she's back. Well, Annie's pissed at Brittany. Because she basically thinks that she orchestrated the whole thing to get her on the block. Please, Annie. You're giving her way too much credit. So Brittany was like, Annie is a rabid mountain lion. Okay. And Annie starts off the day by being a bitch to Brendan. To she, everyone, really. But... Yeah, but mostly to Brendan. And she's walking around. She's like, sorry, our alliance is off because we totally had one. And it was just really bad. Yeah. Really mean to Brendan. Well, and... the brigade decided <laughs> it was time to pat themselves on the back because they did this whole thing beginning to end. The meow took care of meow, me from meow. beginning to end. All right. Annie is just being a real bitchy, poor sport. If mm -hmm. I didn't know any better, I would think that she had her period. <laughs> All right. So it's a little dirty time for Rachel and Brendan. Hey, baby, come here. Oh, hey, Brendan. Come on, let's make out. Uh. Oh, my God. Can we just talk about Annie? Oh, my God. Are you serious right now, Brendan? Yeah, I was just talking to Annie, and I'm really upset. I feel really bad about what happened. Why are you so upset about some girl you met eight days ago who's coming between you and something real? Well, I, I just thought I could talk to you about it. You know, you would support me, and, and all you're doing is making me feel stupid. You know what, Brendan? I am not safe this week. I'm on the block, too. I know, I know, but I'm really upset, and I thought you could just, like, hold me and tell me everything was going to be okay. <sighs> Whatever, Brendan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a little jealousy there? Yeah. Uh, jealousy much? America thinks the saboteur is Kathy. Well, guess what? It's Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed Annie, I don't think. I kind of suspected her toward the beginning, but then I kind of moved away from her, but... All in all, I think the whole thing was absolutely 100% lame. They could have picked a better person, because she just sucks, and they should have picked someone more likable who had a better chance of staying. But she did the whole lock the storage room when the lights went out. She put the tape on the pictures. Right. The electronic beeping devices, including the crickets. Uh, Which really upset Meow Meow's sleep schedule. Because he needs a full nine hours. He needs nine hours. As, as do most people. I, however, do not. <laughs> the Jan Jan only needs four. All right. So uh, this is another saboteur message that is incredibly lame that the saboteur escaped the block. You know, you say that they're lame, but they really, the house guests think about them for hours on end. I would have preferred to see them play fair within the constraints of the twist. I mean, when they say, you know, um, that they got off the block, it's not true. Yeah, I wish they would have only told things that were true. But... Yeah, and two house guests know each other. They never even resolved that to us or the people in the house. So that is just sucky. I just thought that was really crappy. Wow. Well, apparently the people in the house are believing what the saboteur is saying because nobody told them that they shouldn't. <laughs> and so now everyone thinks that Brendan is the sab. So they're thinking, well, maybe we need to break up that little alliance and get rid of Rachel instead of Annie. But Annie sucks so much that she just cannot overcome. Even after she tells everyone that Brendan lied about his job. Well, not everyone, but a couple people. Right. Uh, she will do anything to stay in the house, including lie, cheat, steal, and possibly kill. All right. Well, it's time for Julie to chat with the house guests. All right. So first off, she talks to Enzo, and he, she's like, Yo, how do you like the slot, meow meow? And he says... Yo, Julie, it's like an ex. I don't want to have anything to do with it. So, little food comp replay. Uh, Brendan. Brendan with his shorts falling down. Of course, Rachel's like, <gasps> he's dreamy. And So then, Julie asks Brendan about the showmance. And he's like, Rachel is amazing, and she's smart, and Rachel's amazing. And she has giant boobs. 
You might as well have said it. He left it. that out, but yeah. everyone knows he wanted to say it. All right, time for the pleadings. Annie first. Straight up bitch slap in the face. This was like an hour-long speech. Yeah, it was worse than uh, the Susan Hawk speech on the first uh, year of Survivor. Rachel has Brendan. They're going to go to the end. you got to get rid of uh, them and keep me. That wasn't it, though. It came off <laughs> really, really bitter yeah, toward it, Brendan. Yeah, it was bitter. You lied to me. Okay, so yeah, Rachel, I love you. <laughs> I love you guys. I wouldn't have wanted to play with anyone else. I mean that. Y'all have been the best. It's been great, and it's been fun, and I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you've had fun. So just make the right decision and keep me, because I'm going to be fun, unlike that bitch. Okay, so it's time for the live vote, and apparently everyone agrees with Rachel. It was unanimous. That hurts. To evict Annie. Yeah. So Thank God. Julie asks <laughs> Annie, why did no one keep you? And she gave some lame excuse, but we all know because she was a bitch. Yeah. So Brendan is the strongest player. That's what Annie says. And it's time for the goodbye messages. Well, first, I just want to say I'm really upset that the saboteur thing is over now, but... I'm just happy that Annie is gone because she was so annoying that it's not even worth it if she would have to be in the house. Well, Brittany had some good advice for Annie. You better toss the silver eyeshadow. And I think she said also the ill-fitting flats or something. <laughs> and Rachel, I'm glad you're gone. You should stay away from me and my man. You're getting in between us, and that's not cool. Ouch. And Annie had a little message for Rachel that she'll never see until the end of the season. Or Yo, sooner. He was, he was, yeah, he was flirting with me first, and oh. he's just my sloppy seconds. All right, so she's got one more lame trick planned. I'm assuming that it's going to be on Sunday when they reveal that she was the saboteur, the lame saboteur, saboteur, <laughs> saboteur. <sighs> it's time for the HOH comp. All right, it was the good old majority rules. One of my faves. You answer the questions as you think the majority of the house guests would answer them. And if you're not in the majority, you're out. Yeah. So Brendan, Kathy, and Kristen were eliminated on the first question. Followed by Enzo, Matt, and Lane. That is three-fourths of the brigade right there. And the other one couldn't play. So it might as well have been the whole brigade in it's one really question. It's really weird that the whole brigade went out on the same question. Right. And then the next two, Andrew and Reagan, they were both eliminated on questions that were about them. <laughs> That's that is so, so embarrassing. Yeah, it's so embarrassing. So it came down to a three-way tiebreaker between Brittany, Rachel, and Monet, who I also <gasps> wrote money. Again? <laughs> yes. What's wrong with me? time. How many gallons of caramel were in the caramel swamp during the uh, food comp? Now, I would have been happy with either Brittany or Monet or Money winning. Yes. But freaking Rachel won. She guessed 80, and Brittany guessed like 41, and Money guessed like... Uh, 700-something. 750 or 725. So apparently it was less than 725, but more than 80. So Rachel wins HOH. I'm not clapping. All she right. is one of the two that I did not want to win. All right. Her and Brendan. Well, what can you do? So you get to pick what the house guests eat this week. Well, first, let's say when she was celebrating, <laughs> she jumped on to Brendan and her whole age was hanging out. <laughs> I'm hoping she was now, wearing at least a thong. I thought I saw underwear. Kristen said no. Kristen said nothing. I say a thong. I say underwear. I think they should ban the shirt size dresses from now on. They were ridiculously short tonight yeah. for a couple of the girls. For everyone, including Brittany. Hers was like a little extended shirt dress as well. So you can pick the crap that they're going to eat this week. It's either going to be taffy and tuna, eh, catfish and candy corn, candy corn, or fruitcake and fish sticks. It's not Christmas. I don't like that. So Sunday, they're going to reveal the lame saboteur to the house guests and nominations. <laughs> till, till Sunday. <laughs> Much love.